Let's start with the one thing that's been kind of thrown at this movie from the get-go by virtue of being the second in a trilogy. Yeah, ever since people saw the first trailer, they were like, ah, oh, it's just gonna rip off Empire the way Force Awakens ripped off A New Hope. Um, I don't think it did. I don't think this is uh, necessarily an out-and-out -out Empire ripoff. Um, I think it's a weird melding of both Empire and Return of the mm -hmm. Jedi. I mm -hmm. think there's a lot more of Jedi in this movie uh, than I was expecting. What do, what do you guys think? Is, is Last Jedi just Empire Strikes Back warmed over? I think it, it did enough differently to uh, make it stand out on its own. I mean, especially, you know, towards the end of the movie, you know, with, you know, we're, we're going to talk, of course, about uh, uh, Ray and uh, Kylo. And a lot of those scenes there, like, you thought it was going to go one way, where you're like, wow, this looks a lot like, I mean, you have, you have Snoke in the chair. Ray and Kylo, uh, you know, it was like uh, Luke and Vader facing yeah. each other. And it's like, that looks a lot like Return of the Jedi. But then it kind of turns it on its head a little bit and does something different. So I feel like Ryan Johnson did enough to uh, stand out from, from the previous films. But you can't help but draw comparisons. Yeah, Ryan Johnson is, is a super fan of Star Wars, and you can tell he understood the criticisms of all the preceding films, including Force Awakens, uh, and he kind of predicted what people were gonna be thinking about The Last Jedi, and he used that to kind of set up things that were familiar, but then go, instead of zigging, he zagged and completely shattered expectations. And that's why I think I had so much fun watching this movie. Like even, for example, Empire started with Hoth, right, that, that attack on the rebel base with the walkers, this one ends with that, but instead of yeah. making a daring escape, it's their last stand, right? So it's, it's familiar, there's like the walkers and everything, but the, the emotions and the stakes and the context of everything else is different. So I think if you're going to do little homages and winks and stuff to the past, you do it like that. Well, I mean, one of the, the themes and something that Kylo Ren has said several times in the movie is like, you know, basically burn away the past, mm -hmm. destroy the past. Um, you know, it, it, I, and I think there, you know, there's that little moment in the movie, and we'll talk more about Kylo Ren and Rey in a minute, but, you know, where Kylo has uh, a chance to kill Leia, blow up her ship, and he doesn't take it, which I kind of read as a, a little bit of a meta commentary of like, destroy your past. Well, maybe, maybe not all of it. We like a lot of the, the you know, the, the, the kind of the backstory and the legacy of those characters. So um, I thought that. Last Jedi did a pretty good job of taking things that you recognize from Return of the Jedi and from Empire and kind of doing something new with them. You know, the, the, uh, there are a lot of like cute little creatures that seem kind of like a callback to Jedi being so cute. The stakes, like the last end of the rebellion sort of in Return of the Jedi is pretty much where they end up at with Crate. So yeah, I think that there's, there's more humor in this one that saves it from being as sort of um, as heavy as Empire seemed. Even though Empire has a lot of humor in there, I think people forget that it has humor. But yeah, so we don't think it's necessarily an Empire knockoff. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Uh, check out our review of the film by Joshua Yale here and check out our explainer piece on the ending of the film and what that means. And of course, as always, be sure to follow and subscribe on whatever platform you like to watch IGN.